Did you get a chance to talk to Maggie after the play yesterday? I did. I had a blast. Uh, very appreciative of Maggie giving me the, the opportunity and gained a lot from just that small amount of time and got to see where I was at. So it's pretty cool. Great experience. Anything you've, have you done that at all before? In your... Last time I called plays was uh, 2015 at Westfield High School in Houston. Um, <laughs> but the good news is, like, you're – you're you're kind of you're doing that throughout the process of a game. You're not just sitting there rotating your guys, and you're you're seeing the rhythm of the game. You're feeling it. You're you're looking at plays that you could help out. You know, give some suggestions and stuff like that. But um, it, it was just cool to be in that spot um, and just getting into rhythm and and seeing the progress of it. But it was it was definitely cool. What's your best call? Um, the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it was it tight end the number one read and like every pass? You know, I got that. I got that. They're like, oh, here we go, a bunch of twelve and thirteen personnel. I said, no, nope, just calm down, fellas, just calm down. <laughs> hey, what do you think you might have in Kafusi? Uh, he's an interesting guy. You know, thirty year old that you know has played a lot of defense and um, did a great job this this off season of just getting his body right, his mind right. Um, he's a guy that was MU8 Mercedes throughout the whole process and. Um, he's that inline guy that you want to, you know, evaluate as much as you can and try to develop something there. Um, you know, he's he did a pretty good job this preseason. Um, did a pretty good job in the in the film room, and then um, I, his progress has been great. Um, you know, he's got some things to jump over still hurdle wise as far as just feeling the techniques and, and knowing how to manipulate it, his height and just getting under people and the, those are the things as growing pains that you know. You wish he had more reps with him in that world, um, but he's been a great uh, addition for that room. Justin, what's it like having a, a, a position group that basically returns everybody from the year before? And what are the benefits there? Uh, it's been it's been awesome because you can uh, have those outside of the box questions uh, for those guys. Um, it's been really really exciting just to just to so they could see the big picture. You start to expand. Uh, their eyes and you're not just looking at your position you're looking across the board and uh, you're testing them and we play the what if game all the time like the what if game is you know what if that happens in this play what is your answer and they got to come up with it right away and uh, it, it's taken off now because you know the younger guys are going what if and then it'll start a great conversation but it's not all about you know the rules and the techniques anymore now it's where can you take your game next as far as mentally? And uh, you could be multiple different, more, you know, more positions on the field instead of just being boxed into one. Yeah, I think that you used the word sporadic to describe Jace two weeks ago. How has he been the last two weeks? Have you seen more consistency from him? Yeah, I think uh, I saw it the last couple of weeks as far as just, uh, just being physical um, in line when you get those opportunities. That's not what you want to, you know, hang your hat on in, in his role. Uh, but he uh, he showed some better effort in the uh, in the games the last couple of weeks. Been better at practice, better in the meeting room. So it's been an improvement the last couple of weeks for sure. Why does Bobby catch every pass? It's thrown his way. I mean, the guy's hands are um, unbelievable. Yeah, he's he's got a really good uh, ability to track the ball. Um, really good late hands. You know, his receiver background has definitely helped him out tremendously in that world. Um, you know, it's it's just one of those guys that has has a magnet on his hands. And he, he tracks it extremely well, sh really strong hands in traffic. Like, and he's able to uh, fight defenders off, and that gives him an advantage for being a bigger guy. Now he's put on some weight since you know his receiver days, but he's he's got that ability to track it out of the air, and it's it's pretty special to watch.